Okay, so now I'm going to be putting in a new pump site and a new continued glucose monitoring site. So come on over here and see my array of supplies. What I'm going to do is my pump site first, the insertion for the pump, and then I'll do the continued glucose monitor. So I'm opening a new vial of insulin. First thing I'm going to do is get my little container here that the insulin is going to go in. Put that right over the vial and fill it up. This we have to do every three days. Like I said before, where the glucose monitor, you just have to do every six days. So I'm going to get the insulin in there, get some of those air bubbles out. Make sure there's no bubbles. And then this little guy is good to go. Try to get it screwed. There we go. I'm going to take my pump and we are going to rewind it and take the old out. Set that in the trash pile. While that's rewinding, I'll open up the new quick set. I like the quick set. We're going to connect the new vial of insulin to the end here. There's definitely some little bubbles still in there. It's okay, we'll get them out. We're going to insert it into the pump. And then we're going to fill the tubing so that we get all the air bubbles out. So we're going to start to see the insulin come up from here. And it's going through, and I'm just going to hold it down until I start to see it drip out of the top and make sure that there's no bubbles. And there it is, I can see it coming out. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. So this is ready. So what we're gonna do is find a spot. I'm gonna move over to my right side. I'm gonna put my, uh, we're gonna kinda use this area here. So the first thing we're gonna do is get an alcohol swab, clean the area. Okay, we'll let that dry. And then we're gonna do an IV prep pad which is gonna make my skin really sticky so it will stay better. Just kinda of want that alcohol to dry so that this will get sticky. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and rub this over the entire area since I'm gonna do the pump and the continued glucose monitor. So we kinda of need a big area to be sticky. We're just gonna wipe this all around here. So it's a big sticky spot. Okay, then we're going to take the pump, we're going to stick it in our little inserter, I'm going to push it down, actually before I push it down, I'm going to pull the papers off so the sticky part is exposed, then push it down and remove this guy. If you want to get close in there, you can see the little needle, okay, so that's what's about to go in first. I'm going to put this right here, and I'm just going to squeeze these two buttons on the side, and it's going to shoot it in. Okay, pull away. I'm going to hold this down, pull this out, and just remove the needle so just the little catheter stayed in. You can see how that looks. So the pump is done, I've got a new pump site. Pump is on, we're good to go. Now we're moving on to the continued glucose monitor. Like I said, this is the first time for me to do this by myself, so I'm probably gonna freak out a little bit here. So this is the sensor. These are what are um, disposable. This is what we change out and we throw away. Remember the thing we pulled out in the other video? So we're gonna put a new one in. So what we're gonna do is stick this guy right in here. And we have to push it down until it clicks. Like I said, this is the first time for me to do this, so. What we want is for that little spot in there to stick in. There it goes. There we go. So it's all the way in. Okay. We're going to take this and push it all the way down. Kind of cock it back. And we're going to pull away the white tape. 
Okay, we just that first little piece. We leave this one on. We're going to remove this needle cover so you can see what's going in. Okay, what we're going to do is take it and place it at a 45 to 60 degree angle. So you can see that it's at a slant. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to actually tilt it up just a little bit more. It's kind of hard to do this in this area because you have to really turn and be flexible here. So this is going to insert right in here. <sighs> this is the part I hate. Here we go. Okay. <coughs> Ooh. All right. I'm going to hold this and pull away. Okay. I'm going to take this white tape and pull so that it sticks down. Okay. And then <coughs> we've got to pull the needle out like we did before. So I'm going to take this and pull. I forget how to pull this out. I think it's supposed to go... Ah, oh, there we go. That's what we just pulled out. <laughs> nice looking needle there. <sighs> I'm sweating, guys. All right, there it is. So from this point, we leave this there. It's very common to get a little blood. It's okay. What we're going to do is wait for our sensor to charge up. Usually you let it sit for 15 minutes. I've already let it sit. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the sensor out. It's been charging. Got some um, green dots there blinking, letting me know it's good to go. And we're going to connect this onto the back of that sensor. We're going to push it in. Do we hear it click? We should see a little light go. Should be good. Okay. See how it's kind of flimsy? That's why we use these big old pieces of, not there, here we go, tape. So what we're going to do is remove that tape off, both areas, big piece tape to hold it down and try not to flash you guys too much. I'm going to put it here and that's it. Then we'll remove the this and we're good. Thanks guys, that's it. <laughs>